Um, the next student will be um, Yahya um, Kamis. So Yahya was born and raised in West Darfur, Sudan. His childhood was nomadic as he and his family would follow the cattle that they raised. Um, he would uh, only attend traditional school when they passed through villages. When the war in Sudan began in 2003, his village was destroyed and his family fled to Chad. Um, after a few months in Chad, Yahya and his family moved to Ghana. In Ghana, he attended secondary school and began his education journey. He has since gained his high school diploma and continues in his educational journey today. Um, Yahya arrived in the US in 2009. Since coming to the States, he was trained in many fields, including the Ohio State University Extension Program, SurfSafe, and the American Hotel and Lodging Association. He is also trained with the Ohio Immigrant and Refugee Leadership Academy. In 2014, Yahya helped found the Sudanese community of Dayton, Ohio, and was elected the first president. He served as president of the organization for eight years. He also volunteers with many organizations, including Welcome Dayton, Ohio, American Friends Service Committees, and the New African Immigrant Commission. Please welcome Yahya. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, you guys hear my voice? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, all right. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm, uh, thank you everyone for attending this uh, great event. Uh, my name, as she's mentioned, is my name Yahya Kamis. Um, I'm just here to share a little story of uh, celebration holiday we have in our home country, Sudan. So I know uh, it's, it's familiar with many people, but uh, I will share with uh, special things we have in our home country. The holiday we are, I'm going to share with you today is Eid, which is we celebrate in my country and in, in, our, in, in our culture as well. It is, it is an Arabic term that means blessing and peace for our festival, which is we celebrate every year in our home country. The term used by Muslim all over the world, all around the world, Muslim use it as greeting on the peace or festival. In the social sense, people usually celebrate it iftar after the Ramadan fasting and Eid al-Adha Eid al -Adha, the after the months of Dawa Hajjah, 12 months and final Islamic calendar. It is, it is the most important holiday we celebrate in Sudan. Everybody or everyone gets ready a week before the eat during the end of the fasting. So in our, uh, we have two, two E's, Eid al Atta and Eid al Fitr, which is Eid al Fitr after the fasting. So in, during the Eid celebration, people take off days from work and school also close in our country. Family travel to the relatives who live in the different parts of this country to meet in one place to celebrate their holiday. Many Muslim families also celebrate the Eid around the world, but in Sudan, we have very special holidays. Eid is very popular in Sudan because on Eid, people come together to share love and support each other. Also spend time with family and friends and people within their communities. We also visit, visit each other for forgiving and wishing for better days ahead on the Eid celebration day. On the Eid celebration day. Especially, uh, especially in our culture, we value they eat and celebrate, celebrate it with very, with joy and happiness. My last memory I have eat celebration with the family together was it, it was 2003, which is, which was last year I have very 
great uh, eat with my family. Since then, I didn't have with all my families. It was 2003, which I had very great memories with it celebration. We, 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 we as family came together all on that year and celebrate together. Since then, so we celebrate, we celebrate. since then we just having it separately for so many years. So that's all I have to say, share with you today because it is, I think, is very a special holiday for us and celebration in our culture. So that's all I have for today. So I hope everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you um, so much, Yahya, and thank you to everybody who has shared their story so far. Um, I really appreciate hearing all of these stories of joy and celebration.